are heating up an old debate this morning. The United Nations says climate change is real and man-made. It calls for drastic changes by the end of the century. The UN says without action, there could be irreversible damage. CBS News contributor Michio Kaku is a physics professor at the City University of New York. Professor, good morning. Morning. The significance of this report and what sets it apart? First of all, it's based on the largest analysis of data. 30,000 studies were analyzed. And as you mentioned, for the first time in clear words, it says there's a point of no return, a point beyond which damage would be irreversible and irreparable. And that is by the end of the century, unless we take uh, measures now, by the end of the century, we have to zero out, zero out not reduce but eliminate our dependence on oil and coal burning. What's the significance of man-made? Well, if it's a natural cycle, we throw our hands up in the air and say, what can we do? It's Mother Nature's revenge. However, if it's man-made, it means we can do something about it. We can eliminate the causes of it. And this report is different from the other ones. It sets now a, a clear 2100 deadline, zero out our dependence on fossil fuels. Irreversible damage never sounds like a good thing. What exactly does that mean? Why should we care about this now? Well, we care about it now because uh, food prices are going to rise because of the disruptions to agriculture. Farmers realize that summer is almost a week longer than normal. Insurance rates are going to go up because of flooding in many areas. We see increasing heat spells means more visits to the hospital. And so we're seeing the beginning of it now. Sea levels are rising, temperatures are rising. Alaska and uh, Greenland, they're beginning to thaw out. And so we're beginning to see the beginning of what could be trillions of dollars in property damage. This is going to be the hottest year on record. What needs to be done to turn back the clock? Well, the simplest thing to do is to increase efficiency, incre increase the efficiency of car engines, mandate laws to make our, our uh, society more efficient. Because but of in carbon the emissions. Because of carbon emissions. But in the long term, it does mean we have to seriously think about solar, about hydrogen, about alternative sources of energy to reduce our dependence. And by the way, there's also some good news here. Good. The Pew Research Center has stated that for the first time in history now, the American people believe that global warming is real and not a conspiracy of some sort. That's okay. new. Thank you. It's good to end on a good note, positive note. Thank you, Michio Kaku.